traveling with your instrument can be stressful. We've probably all watched the video United Breaks Guitars, and don't want our guitars broken by any airline. So here is a short guide for traveling with a guitar based on my experience. There are two main things that matter, one, the type of guitar you want to transport, and two, the airline you are using and type of ticket you buy. How you can transport your guitar depends on the construction type. Some guitars are bolt-on, meaning that the neck is fixed to the body by three, four or five screws. My Fender 70 Stratocaster has three screws, of which I am not a big fan as the neck can slightly move in the pocket. All other electric guitars I know of use four screws. For bolt-on guitars, there is a simple trick which I have used for years. Simply remove the strings, unscrew the neck, and the guitar fits in almost every normal suitcase. Be very careful when you pull the neck out of the pocket, and pull it out straight, as otherwise the corners might chip. Wrap both the body and the neck in bubble wrap or clothing. In a normal suitcase, up to two guitars fit safely. The other guitar type is neck through, where the neck gets glued into the body and cannot be removed. This is usually more costly in the production process, but adds extra sustain. You can transport neck through guitars like PRS or Gibson and Epiphone in the cabin. 2. Ticket and Airlines The problem with many airlines is that different airline employees will give you different answers. A guitar obviously is higher than the normal cabin carry-on suitcase with a maximum height of 56 cm or 22 inches. When I traveled with United in August 2020, I was told that I can bring my guitar free of charge in the cabin, however they had to register it in the system, as there seems to be a limit on each flight on how many guitars they allow in the cabin. In the US, Code 41724 on musical instruments actually states that airlines shall permit a passenger to carry a violin, guitar, or other musical instrument in the aircraft cabin, without charging the passenger a fee in addition to any standard fee that carrier may require for comparable carry-on baggage. If A, the instrument can be stowed safely in a suitable baggage compartment in the aircraft cabin, and B, there is space for such stowage at the time the passenger boards the aircraft. So try to board as early as possible. Also make sure you don't buy the cheapest version of the economy class which only includes one personal item. The normal economy class usually allows to bring a guitar instead of a carry-on bag for the overhead compartment. One last issue to keep in mind for international travel with a guitar is customs. Please be aware that if you get checked by customs and bring in a new guitar, you might be requested to pay the respective national sales tax, which can be a quite hefty price. If it is a used guitar you are bringing back, you can point that out and show some scratches, and usually do not have to pay any tax. So to sum up, flying with a guitar is a lot less stressful if you are well prepared. If it's a bolt-on guitar, just remove the neck and put it in your checked luggage. This will save you a lot of stress and uncertainty. If it is a neck-through guitar, make sure to call the airline to confirm that you can bring a guitar on your specific flight. Safe travels and thanks for watching.